Time now, 537 in Johnson County. Authorities are searching for the person who shot a man in Smithfield. It happened around 2 yesterday afternoon. Randy, things really starting to heat up out here at Washington and Montgomery. We're going to step right out of the way. SWAT team on the scene with their armored vehicle. They just pulled in. It really put things into perspective. Randy, thanks so much for joining us on WNCN News at 7. I'm Mike Gonzalez. It's now been a year since a ride accident at the State Fair. It injured five people. Four members of one triangle family were injured. Some very Severely. So much energy, you see that? Hey, wow. you know, I've had, a, I've had a lot of coffee today. You know, they, 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 right exactly. they drug me, I, and I'm, I'm like, Sharon, where, when can I get some exactly. more coffee? Sean, good evening. It sure would. And the governor says this is a really big announcement for the state. It's going to bring hundreds of jobs to the region, it's going to bring savings to North Carolinians and especially to the ag industry. A veces, cuando ves las velocidad en el coche a la gente, Sí, porque los niños están en la mera orilla de la calle. Sean, I'll tell you what, it certainly is. And our investigation, it was extensive. It took us across 20 counties in our viewing area. This is the three-page ordinance that officially prohibits what the council is calling unlawful exposure in public places. Once again, it was a full house full of lots of opinions. All right, time to dream a little bit here. A vessel believed to be the world's largest super yacht is out on the sea this morning. Now, Mike, we heard that part of that dispute did have something to do with wages, that the union wanted a 5% pay hike. What's the deal on that? Randy, you know, I spoke to some of my sources inside the union. What they told me is that the bargaining for all this started about a year ago. And yes, initially, that 5% raise was on the table, but that simply put, it's part of the negotiation process anyway. What community health systems, who owns this, these two hospitals out here, did they countered with a 2% proposal? We just got here about 15, 20 minutes ago, so we're trying to sort out all the details as authorities left the scene. But we talked to a gentleman who works in this Honda service uh, station over here and he saw the whole thing happen. What he told us is that uh, some people were walking their Pomeranians here on North Atlantic right in front of the Atlantic North Apartments about a couple blocks north of Francis and a pit bull actually escaped from this uh, apartment right here at 6529 where the, the resident lives. So this pit bull starts attacking these Pomeranians, so several adults come out from the apartment complex and they start kicking this dog. But, you know, pit bulls, uh, they're a tough breed, so this, this pit apparently bit five people who all went to the hospital. So follow me over here, Nick. So this dog somehow ends up in the back of the apartment complex. We had talked to these young kids who witnessed it all. Uh, you'll hear from them on Krem 2 News at 10 and 11, but authorities had to shoot the dog somewhere in this area. Right, today's show is next, so we hope the good news is yours, everybody.